So like they hover slowly. <laughs> I love that. And then when they okay, see you, they so just dash. So when, when you whip the, the next one. Okay. Just, I want to see if it does it again. Oh, I didn't get to see it. Okay. All right, what are we looking at? Her hair falls uh, off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey there, pups. Welcome to Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Alrighty, so in the last episode, we made our way into the chapel. And now we're going to get just a little bit further. Every time I see him fall, I get such extreme tough. anxiety. I'm yeah. like, Ooh. Don't worry, there's no falling damage in this Castlevania. <laughs> some, some Castlevania games do have falling damage. To where you just go, oh. And then they die. And I'm just like, damn. Actually, this is like one of the few Castlevania games where you can't fall to your death. Hmm. Because most Castlevania games, it's just like, oop, doodly doodly doodly. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm using my stone whip to paralyze these brains so that I can use them as platforms. Oh, cool. And this mechanic was first used in the Metroid game where you can use your ice beam to create platforms out of frozen enemies. Okay. So they're utilizing this. Uh... <laughs> ah, shit. So that we can access more secrets. Oh shit. All right, I gotta get off screen so that they respawn. In theory, it's supposed to work a lot better. <laughs> but I'm not having a good time. Excuse me. All right. These are the ghouls. Ghoul. Just recolors of the zombies, unfortunately. Well. That's mostly what it's like. Very few games actually depict ghouls correctly. I think I'm, Castlevania Lords of Shadow. I'm is okay one of the few. with like Witcher recolors as long as they're in the same family. <laughs> but um, our creature collection did specify the difference between a ghoul and a zombie. Yes. Like they are distinctly different creatures, and Lords of Shadow depicts the ghoul most like how. A ghoul would A be. ghoul was described in, in our research for the creature collection. Well, because the main difference is a, a ghoul is, um, oh my god, I just had the word. Sentient. Oh, okay. Like, it's, it's aware of what it's yeah, doing. Yeah, it knows what's going on. It, they're like, they're- they malintent. Right, they're not previously dead people. Okay. So zombies are like dead bodies that have- Have been repossessed. Yes. Ghouls are just like graveyard demons. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Basically, yeah. Ah, oh, jeez. I gotta rush to the nearest save point because these- Ah, freaking bloody swords! Help! Oh. You think they got their name from like an angry Englishman? Bloody swords! Probably. <laughs> if it was from American people, it'd be like, motherfucking sword! <laughs> A fucking sword. <laughs> Alright, we're... Ah, son of a bitch. Well, at least we saved. Son of a whore, quit it. I don't think you can paralyze them. I don't think you can turn them to stone, and I don't think you can freeze them with the ice whip either. Get down, get out. She's like, no, please love me. <laughs> I finally found what love is, and I want more. She's been super clingy today. She has been really clingy today. She's like, it's okay. Everything all right, little kitty? Hope that doesn't mean she's going to die. Oh, don't say <laughs> that. <laughs> I want you to spend my final hours. I don't think it's final hours, because she's like standing up on her hind legs. My final few days, and then she everyone. just hides, and it's just like... <laughs> Dude, I am not looking forward to when Check she hides, because I'm going to be like, fuck, where is she? Meanwhile, Luna be like... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Luna's You'll like, she died know. three days ago, and I've been munching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I said that. <laughs> Apology accepted. Son of a bitch. Yeah, you can't fall to your death, but knockback is still as infuriating as ever. Because it just knocks you down. It's just like, oh, I've got to make my way up. All right, back to the save room. Restock. And let's try this again. He's over here making my way downtown. Fuck. Do it again. <laughs> Basically. Because what sucks is when you, re when you leave and go to a save room and you come back, all the enemies return. Yeah. So it's just like, all righty. Speed marker. 
Take two. Let's try this again. <laughs> Son of a... Stop it. You stop it right now. You stop that. I know I say this almost every single time, but I really like the stained glass windows. To be fair, we've only had a handful of stained glass windows in this game so far. This is the level I just where think they're there's really the most. Yeah, I just think they're a really nice touch. Yeah. It allows, um, because at the end of the day, this is a castle, a sentient castle, yeah. but a castle. So you have to find different ways to make different parts of the castle more unique from the right. other one. You can't just have marble hallway, marble hallway, marble hallway. Well, not only that, but it's like, while they're not like crystal clear, I can see everything that's in each, every little window. They're mm -hmm. still like extremely detailed. Yeah. Because each panel is different. Mm-hmm. So it's like, they're not just like copy and pasting panels. Uh, some of them are. Some of them look like they might have been flipped. Like, they're mirrored. Okay. But like, for the most part, a lot of them are different. Okay. Because like, that one's the so, same as that one. And then we got these smaller ones, they're different. It's like, it looks like they're going in the same, but it's it's stretched. Yeah. So it's like, too big at the bottom. Well, like, smaller that in the giant window oh, and that oh, cool. giant window are the same. But the, yes. pa the panels within each window. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Are different. Okay. So, like, while you can't see cursed. every single little detail, it's a really neat way to kind of make you think that you're seeing a, a shit ton of detail. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I just think it looks really nice. No, you're right. Oh, come on, go away. Boop, we're gonna hear Booby purring. Yeah, no, I was talking about the bloody swords. I kind of figured we'd just deal with Booby throughout yeah. these playthroughs. Well, so for anyone that's just joining and hasn't watched our shorts or like other playthroughs, mm -hmm. um, Bubka like hated me for the first like 12 years of her life. Mm -hmm. um, the only time she ever let me like love her was when she was pregnant. Oh God, they're everywhere. And um, after that, she was just like, I want absolutely nothing to do with you. Mm -hmm. But now she is like fiending for attention. Like yeah. she wants to be held and she wants to be petted and she wants to be loved yep. and given treats and yeah, all kinds every time of like she sees us, she just wants us yeah, to Yeah, like her. she's and I don't want to discourage her from that because yeah. she spent so long just like not getting any attention because she would just run away from well, not everyone. Not only that, but like we've discovered she's a lot older than we, we thought yeah, she was. Yeah, I like did the math because there was a picture of her um, when she was in my bedroom whenever mm -hmm. I was in high school and she was already about four years old there and um, we did the math and she's like 18. <laughs> so yeah, she's an and old And I was cat. just like, holy shit, bub. I thought you were like 12. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, no, um, you're a lot older than that. Yeah, I thought she was 12 or 13. Uh, nope. And that's approximate. So she could be anywhere from like... Because the vet told us that she was oh about four years old, but there's no real way to tell mm -hmm. like exactly how old a cat is or a dog whenever you weren't with them, like right. when they were born. They just knew she was an adult cat, and an adult cat is older than two. Here they are, the Were Panthers. They're real annoying because they like to do that. You'll, you'll see them. Watch how he like dashes back. He jumps Ugh. back. Annoying. And he can do that just far enough so your whip won't reach him. Yeah. But no, we got we're in the bell tower now. <laughs> the bell tower part of the chapel. Ah shit! Yeah, he comes in with that fierce punch. What I'm trying to do, and like the thing about the stone whip is not every shot will petrify them. I think there's like a it's a 50-50 chance every time you crack them with a the whip that they'll turn to stone or it'll just hit them and they'll just be like, meh. Okay. <laughs> Guess I'll go die. Let's see, one, two, come on. <sighs> yeah, that's what's so annoying about them. There we go. There we go. Nice. And I'm low on crosses. There's a little part of me inside that wishes I sat like a lady so that she could uh, sit on my lap. Just like, but I hundred right in the middle. I hundred percent sit like a dude, like. <laughs> You got the man spreading and all that. Oh, I shit, do. there's two of them. I'm gonna sit like I'm comfortable. 
Don't you be packing on me, you damn wear panthers. All right, come on, come on, come on. Come on, just turn one to stone. That'll work. All right. Now back off. Okay, one down. Ah! <laughs> At least you don't have to dodge just the bells. Comes in with his fist of fury. Yeah, that would be like just a little bit much. If like when the bells swing forward, they could like knock you. Yeah. That would be rough. All right, gained a level. Not bad. So now that we're like almost halfway done with the game, has your opinion changed at all? Oh, I've always enjoyed the game. I was just really, really upset and frustrated whenever I loaded wrong and well, like, even lost if, like, all of my your progress. Opinion, like diminished now that you've seen more, and you're just like, oh. No, no, not at all. Okay, I cool. still think it'd be really See, these fun are to play. Stained glass paintings. Yeah, I really like them. So, like, it's nice that like. They didn't just reuse the stained glass from yeah. the last room. They did. And a lot of, a it looks aesthetic. like a lot of the inspiration is from, like, the rose windows at Notre Dame. Yep. Like, oh, definitely. Um, you know, I can see a lot of inspiration from them. Mm-hmm. But, no, I definitely think that this is a game that I will eventually want to pick back up to start playing again. Yeah. Um, it's not like Psychonauts where I'm like, oh, you know, I saw it. It's fine. Yeah. Um, now, there are a, a, quite a few Castlevanias like this that are a bit easier because, like, they have shops. Yeah. So, like, if this ever frustrates you more, maybe you'd be more into playing, like, Symphony of the Night I mean, or Harmony of Dissonance. I definitely would be more intrigued by something a little bit easier, mainly because I know I'm going to get lost. God, I am booking it to the next save room. There it is. <laughs> this part is all about just booking to the save room because I'm just getting walloped. I hate these bloody swords. I hate these panthers. This is when the game just gets mean and it throws out the nasties. It just gets real. The big old nasty enemies. But, yeah, because I, I love, like, architecture, especially, like, castle mm -hmm. and cathedrals. So I really do appreciate a lot of the little details that they've put in. Not all of them are quite as accurate as, like, what it would be in reality. But right. for a design level to understand mind, where you're at. This is a at. Game Boy game. Yeah. Like, this is like a little No, I think it's really impressive. Screen. For sure. But it's just like in a bell tower, you're not going to be with the bell. Okay. Like you, you pull a cord. Oh, okay. Or a lever that makes the bell swing. Okay. And then the pendulum inside the bell is what, okay. like, ding dong, ding dong. Like, you're, there's not someone up there just, like, by the bell, <laughs> you know? Um, so, but Looks like there's how a mechanism else? above the bells, though. Yeah. Well, they're on poles. Okay. So, like, in a, in a cathedral that has that many bells, there would be, like, two or three people mm -hmm. cranking a lever. Uh, that okay. is rotating the pole that they're sitting on to make the bells chime. Could be ghosts. You don't see them, but it doesn't mean they're working the well, bells. Well, what, what I meant is, like, how they're up here, there's walkways. Yeah. There wouldn't be. Oh, okay. Like, you're not going to be by the bell. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you would be below the bells. Okay. Gotcha. But for a game, like, how else are you going to know that, like, oh, I'm in the bell tower if you don't see a bell? Correct. <laughs> They're in the background. Yeah. My God, I'm taking another whooping. No, not more. Oh, Lord. Be gone. Get to the save room. You're going to die. Ah, ah. I'm so nervous right now. <laughs> You're nervous. <laughs> I'm panicking. If I can get up there, I can paralyze them and maybe there's a health upgrade. Damn it. Really? There it is. Just make sure you don't get hit by the brain floats. Damn it. See, my health is low, so I'm nervous. I'm just kind of like, yeah. Ah, yee. <laughs> but every time that I see the heart, I'm like, whoo, thank Jesus. And then I'm like, wait a minute, that's nope. not, this is Castlevania. <laughs> oh, no. You want the pork chop or the roast beef. Fuck MP. Really? <laughs> oh, uh, ooh. nah, I want the cross. I mean, that worked to kill the brains. The boss coming up is a doozy. You gotta save. All right, right down here. Excuse me, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me. There we go. 
Sweet All Jesus. righty. All right, so we saved this time. So at yes. least if we die, we'll start in this room. Yeah, and you got through some stuff. Yeah, I got my health back. We're just going to bypass all these enemies. Yeah. Maybe not this one. <laughs> We're going to bypass all of these, but not this one. We're going to fight this one. Well, because, like, there's a chance he'll drop something good. Demons drop good things. Ah! So I finished. Oh, cool. Them. Turn them to stone. Nice. Well, didn't drop anything that time, but I bet he gave me some good EXP. Yay. These guys again. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Ah. I don't really want to, like... We're going to try. See, I don't know. If you, Rude. If you try to bypass them, you just get swarmed. Well, not only that, but the way that these, like, wear panthers move. Well, I'm, like, ricocheting between them. Yeah. It's like knocking me into... It's like monkey in the middle. Yeah. He's just knocking me into the other one. All right, we're going for it. See, while I don't think that the bells should hit you, mm -hmm. I do think that it would be really cool if you could jump from bell to bell. Oh, To, like, okay. get over the enemies. Yeah, that would be interesting. Okay. This part's a lot more tame than the last part. <laughs> this room's not too bad. You just got a lot of the bone pillars. And the bone pillars are so much easier in this game than in, like, classic Castlevania. Yeah. Where, like, they shoot the fireballs three at a time and they can knock you off. There's just so much more you can move to avoid them. They're not nearly as bad. Mm -mm. Whereas in Adventure Rebirth and the ori original Castlevania, they can knock you off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think that's the thing. Like, no matter how much... No matter where they're positioned, you can't fall to your death. But so if they it, hit you, it's just a yeah. It can still. Well, also mess they only you shoot up. one fireball, it seems. Whereas in classic Castlevania, they shoot three. Or I don't know. Let's see. Ah. One. Yeah, yeah, they shoot one at one. a time. Yeah, that's not nearly as bad. Haha. Here. We're gonna Mario jump. Heat shade. While those enemies are annoying, I really like their aesthetic too. The heat shades? Yeah. Well, what's nasty is like the fireball hones in on you. Yeah. So like she'll stay where she is, but the fireball she summons will follow you. And that's what makes it quite annoying. Mm. Oh, boobies. I know. She's got all four of... Well, she did. She her just, tail is just rat-a-tat-tatting off my back. I know. Like I said, I don't want to discourage her mm. from from being loved. So right now, I'm just giving her little pats on the head. I'm just... Little pat-pat-pat on the little head-head. Giving her little rubs. Okay. It's really weird because I pet Luna so roughly. Mm-hmm. I like Can't do that fling her around and, mm -hmm. you know, <laughs> wrestle with her. And then Booby, I'm just like, oh, God. Away. She's so delicate. I don't want to break her. That's basically how I feel. Mind, body, or spirit. All right, Gorgon, get out of here. You can peril uh, petrify me, and I don't need that right now. And I saw those marionettes up there. They're the ones that can curse you. Ooh. Ooh. Heart up. Nice. I feel like that's, that's a... Ah, oh, shit. Double jumped right into her. That, that's the marionette? Yeah, the marionettes will curse you. Okay. But I have a curse cure. Leave me alone. So, like, they hover slowly. <laughs> I love that. And then when they okay. see you, they so just dash. So, when, when you whip the, the next one. Okay. Just, I want to see if it does it again. Oh, I didn't get to see it. Okay. All right, what are we looking at? Her hair falls uh, off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she is a marionette. It's like the, the whole... All the pieces just fall I know, apart. but it's just funny that, like, it's not, like, the head with the hair. It's just, it's like, just the, hair. Just the hair. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, you want to stay far away from them. Attack them from afar if possible. Ah, shit! Because the problem is, you have to either cure the curse, or just stay away... Long enough for it to stop. So that you can attack again, because what they like to do is they like to curse you when there's a bunch of other enemies. That way you... Exactly, like a bloody sword. So she'll curse you, 
and the bloody sores will just keep coming and you can't attack for a while. Oh. And that can easily net you a game over if oh, you're not careful. Yeah. I'm trying to reserve my hearts because I definitely need them for this boss coming up. I need as many hearts as possible because I'm going to go ham on the crosses. That's the best way to beat this boss that's next. And it's probably going to be in the next episode because okay. it's a doozy of a battle and we don't have much time left for this episode. Fuck that knife. So we're going to... Yeah, we don't need a knife. It's all about the crosses. Ow. She bit me. She bit me. We'll just ignore you. We are almost there. There's a werebear. They they hit like a bulldozer. Oops. <laughs> I do that all the time. I get nervous and I click the menu. Yep, hit the wrong button. There we go. All Ooh. right. So now that we've saved and we're stocked up in Unclench the next your episode. Your buttholes and. Mm -hmm. In the next episode, we're gonna face a new boss. All right. See you then. Toodles.